Hi folks, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to continue on with the uh, sodium ion transport uh, scenario, uh, except that I'm going to follow the lithium ion battery model and mix the uh, metal oxide with uh, graphite, which I've done. Now, in some ways, the, the biocell is uh, just asked backwards from the lithium ion battery, which has the metal ox oxide on the cathode, which we tried in the last uh, experiment, and it works on that on the cathode, but uh, it has some really odd behavior when you if you try to charge it, which is uh, which is worse than uh, when we tried to charge it uh, with the uh, um, titanium dioxide on the anode. So that pretty much convinces me that. Uh, and a lot of other evidence that that the titanium dioxide belongs on the anode, so that's where I'm going to put it. But but this time it's mixed with uh, a little a little graphite. Now uh, what I've got is the uh, sulfuric not sulfuric acid uh, the phosphoric acid interclated uh, graphite, which is in this tub right here, and I have about three drops painted on the cathode already, and then. What I've done here is I took the uh, the interclated graphite there, and which I had uh, started the exfoliation process uh, by mixing it with a with a weak borax solution, and uh, and then I took some titanium dioxide and mixed with that, and then stirred it for about six hours on the magnetic stir, so it's really well mixed and. Uh, if, it's, if the titanium dioxide actually reacts with the other stuff, then we should we should know it. <coughs> so uh, anyway, and I've got about uh, three drops of that on the uh, anode here. So and we're going to use a piece of paper here that I'm going to soak in uh, in a, a borax solution, uh <coughs> so that we have a, uh, a linking agent between the two to transport the. Uh, help transport the sodium across the, the barriers and we're just going to put that dip it down in there to get it wet so we've got water in the, in the cell and then I'm gonna slip that right on there flip our anode over put it on and we'll hook up the electrode here and see what we got. Okay, we have almost instantly one seven oop, and it's dropping. Okay. That's not a good sign, but it may be because I'm using a, a, a thinner uh, paper on that. But let's test it now and see what kind of uh, amps we get. I'm on the 10 amp scale. Amps are over here and we'll see what kind of uh, amps we get out of this. Ready? Three, two, one. Thirty-nine. So we got three hundred and ninety to start right there. Okay, and we're, there's our self-charge is going. And it's climbing nice. We'll let that charge up here in a little bit and see where it We'll test it when it starts to slow down. If you wait for those last uh, couple of uh, <coughs> millivolts to come on there, it takes a while. Alright, so we're climbing back up. Alright, here comes 110. There it is right there. Let's test it right there. See what we got. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 32 that time. Dropping off. Alright. In, in the previous test when we did that, uh, we got the same uh, amps, 390 I think, and uh, it pretty much uh, stayed up around 390. Now we've typically been getting about uh, uh, five hundredths of a uh, of a volt drop between the first and second discharge and between the second and third discharges. And part of that is uh, water loss because every time we discharge it we're 
we're, we're using some losing some water but it, that doesn't account for all of it I don't think okay we're slowing down we had about uh, this kind of looks like it's well it's already less than 0.5 hundredths of a drop coming up on 106 right now and now it's really slowing down but it looks like it would go to 107 pretty easy probably 108 so that's not much of a uh, voltage loss for the second time so we'll test it at 107 and see what happens alright so we're at 17, 107.2 let's test it right there ready? three two one twenty nine that time so we're still losing amps so this doesn't look like it's uh, performing as well as the as the sodium ion transport did without the uh, graphite mixed with the titanium dioxide All right, we're back to 103 still climbing fairly fast and we were at 107.2 I think we tested it last time I still don't know why the, the battery uh, will drop down some in voltage at first and then the voltage will climb uh, back up to again and the amps usually climb again too and I'm still not quite sure why why that happens but we'll see if that happens this time and it usually typically uh, the voltage will keep dropping until it gets down to about 103 and then it'll stop right in there and then it'll start to climb again and this time it's not going to drop as much 107.2 was the last test and we're climbing all the way, almost we're 165 now so we'll test it about uh, well, maybe about the same. One oh seven coming up on one oh seven now. There it is. All right, we're at the same spot where we were last time. Let's test it now and see if we get anything above two ninety. Ready? Three, two, one. 2.6 that time, still dropping. You can see how fast it, it always gets back to 0.9 to 1 volt uh, very quick because that's the natural potential uh, if we don't add any kind of electrolytes or anything to it. Yeah, look, here it is speeding up again. See, it did the same thing again. As soon as it got to one volt, it starts to speed up. Now that's weird, isn't it? I don't understand that one. And it looks like we're gonna. It looks like the voltage is on the way back up to me. We're gonna be here shortly but our amps are still dropping I mean personally I think that uh, without any electrolytes at all in this cell just using the titanium dioxide and graphite as a uh, as a storage medium for the for the uh, power uh, we're getting 200 and almost 300 milliamps on a cell this size and we aren't really getting that much more 
using uh, using uh, the electrolytes in it. Look at how we're saved 1075 76. So our voltage is definitely on its way back up. And I bet the amps drop again though. So we'll test it at about 108 and see what happens. There's 108. Let's see what we got this time. Ready? 3, 2, 1, 24. Amps are still going down. So, doesn't look like titanium dioxide and graphite uh, works as well. Maybe just titanium dioxide and graphite on one side and just graphite on the other. Now, that might be a different. That might be a different. Uh, ball game. I don't know. We'll have to try that one next. Oh, here we go. So look at that fast climb now. See? It's, as soon as it got above one volt, it starts this. Maybe that's something to do with the electrolytes in it too. I don't know. It's a, I don't think it's coincidental that uh, as soon as it gets past the point where it normally um, self-charges up to without electrolytes, that it, then it starts to pick up, and then maybe that's the, because we got electrolytes in it. 1084. Let's hit it right there. 1085. Ready? Three, two, one. Twenty-five. All right. Looks like it's uh, just about bottomed out on its amps. So it was uh, 260 last time, it's 250 this time. So it looks like it's going to stabilize its amps around 250 or 240 maybe, something like that. Now we're starting to climb a faster, a little lower, I think. Well, no, look at that. As soon as it gets over one volt. Boom, boom, boom. If anybody's got any ideas uh, about this, speak up. Alright, this will be the last one on this. I just want to see it. It shouldn't go below 240, I would think. But it was... 280, then 260, then 250. So the amount of decrease is getting less. It's going to stabilize somewhere. But like I say, we can get uh, I can get that much out of the cell just with titanium dioxide and graphite. Well, I tested it a few more times, and. Uh, it did stabilize the uh, amps at uh, 240. It did that for three uh, three cycles, and then it, it ran out of water basically. And uh, and now the the um, amps are, are are dropping again. But you can see that uh, it's up around uh, 112 uh, on the voltage. I I'd, I'd, I'd like the the fact that it didn't it lose as much voltage and recovered faster. But uh, the, the amps uh, are, did worse on this, so uh, it's mixed results. Uh, next time we'll do a, uh, a cell without any electrolytes in it, just graphite, titanium dioxide, and uh, we'll we'll see how that compares to this, and then and then go from there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.